Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing these nails, so if you are interested to see how I did these cute nails for Halloween, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by quickly showing you guys my Halloween nails. I've just done a set using McCart's products, so if you're interested to see how I did these nails, let me know. And I might upload like a quick video on my Instagram. But the bulk of this video is basically doing a review on the To Be Glam poly gels. So they've recently come out with two new poly gels. They're kind of like this candy one, which is super, super cute. I love the packaging on this. It is just so different. It is so, I don't know. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And this is the pastel one. And when you open it up, it says, hello, gorgeous. And I'm loving like the whole sprinkle thing inside as well. And as you can see, it comes with like a little, um, I like the whole envelope idea on this, like a little envelope with the instructions in there. I think that's so cute and it's like nice and small so you don't get like a whole <laughs> lot of instructions. It's just nice and small and compact um, and also love the attention to detail on this as well. They also include some nice tips in there for some beginners that are maybe struggling. So yeah, that's also really, really nice to have as you can see here. And I do have a discount code for you guys. It is Nails by Kamin for 15% off your order. And this will basically give you some money off when buying from their website. So do definitely check that out. I will also have it in the description box down below. So for the sake of making the unboxing easier, I just took out the little white bit that's holding all the poly gels and I'm just taking each one out. I want to say that with this brand, I feel like I have such high expectations just because I feel like they're bringing something really different to this whole like poly gel game. Um, I really love McCart and a bunch of other products, but I feel like this brand just does it a bit differently, which is also really nice to get that kind of different kind of branding as well so the first shade is on cloud blue and as you can see they also have the instructions on the back just in case you might lose your instructions or something which is super super nice and i will be swatching these in just a sec i'm just going to quickly unbox the glitter one as well this one is more like got stars on there which is also really nice i like how they've made it different per box so again, you get the beautiful stars inside, you get the Hello Gorgeous, and these are all the shades as well. And I believe these are like 30 mil, no, 15 mil bottles, yeah, 15 mil bottles. Um, so here I am just removing the seal. All of these were really well sealed and also easy to remove the seal. I have that problem with some brands where I will try to remove the seal and it's a sticky mess and it's just not fun, so really appreciate that this was just easy to unbox and this is the first shade that one was on cloud blue then we have this beautiful beautiful pastel yellow i'd say my most favorite shades out of this whole pastel range is probably the blue and the green and the, this lilac color like i don't know what it is about the blue and the green i just really really like it i might do like an ombre look with them as well so we'll see but here i am just watching every single one all of these felt really easy to squish out of the tube. Um, it is winter here in the UK now, like, well, I say winter because it's getting quite cold, but um, so yeah, the poly gel, I did find that it is, it did feel a little hard, but it wasn't too bad or anything. Um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's just like a normal poly gel thing. And these are all the shades swatched. And now I'm going to do the glittery ones. was really happy to see that they put in like, um, some matching glitters per color so with the blue they put in some like blue sparkly glitter as well not just like this white iridescent glitter i believe so it was like really nice and well thought of which i really appreciate so that's those and that pink was really really nice i liked how bright that was it was super nice and i also want to quickly show you guys the animal print um nail foils that they sent me which was really nice of them
from um, AliExpress. I got them a while ago. They're just these extra long coffee nail tips. And because this is a fake practice hand, I am going to be just using some regular base coat to apply these. This is the To Be Glam base coat that I got with their first unboxing that I did. Um, I mean, the first review that I did with them. Um, the video for that will be linked down below. And I absolutely love that kit as well. So do check it out. And I am also using the poly gel brush that I got with that kit. It also came with a mini UV light as well, which I'm using on the side. And here I am going in with on cloud blue. This was so pretty. I really like like the pastel shades of this blue. Um of this kit. I mean it was just so stunning and it wasn't too bad to work with, definitely bearing in mind that my room was kind of cold, but as you can see, I've just got a little bowl of slip solution on the side. You could also use the base coat, um, but I really like <laughs> the 2B Glam base coat, so I was kind of trying to save it. So I was just going with some slip solution, but um, you could always go in with base coat um, as well. And I'm just ombreing that, um, I believe this is that bluish, glitter i forgot the name already but i'm just going to be doing an ombre with all the corresponding colors together and that's basically like the base of this look and i really like how well the colors complemented each other i like how that glittery blue wasn't you know it wasn't too much i feel like it was just the perfect amount of shimmer and yeah it was just so stunning it looks so much nicer in real life too um of course the camera won't pick up everything but yes it is very, very beautiful. Now this green glitter I found that was, um, it was quite easy to work with, I found like most of the glitters were quite softer, I'm not sure why, but they just felt really nice and easy to work with compared to the pastel poly gels, um, yeah, so yeah, again, this one is in shade Flossy, so let me know down in the comments below which shade is going to be your favourite, personally I'm just falling in love with this green and blue, I just love it so much followed by that kind of purplish lilac shade so yeah let me know down in the comments And if you're a beginner with poly gel, I would just suggest you keep practicing, of course. Um, but also when you apply your poly gel, try to kind of apply it down in the center and then kind of spread the product out from side to side. Try to get it as even as possible. And then I would just cure that and kind of keep layering it up until I can kind of create a good apex. I'm not really doing an apex on these nails it's on my practice hand but if they were to be on me um i would kind of you know put in some apex in there and yeah so just keep practicing i know it can be a bit difficult at first but you will get the hang of it eventually especially if you just keep going at it it's really not that hard in the end it's really fun to do at home and it saves you a lot of money as well
I really like how long these tips are um, and when I apply my poly gel I try to keep the side walls as neat as possible um, I just like to run my brush down the edges so that way I can keep a good shape because then that really reduces my filing time I guess so I really try to get that shape as neat as possible and just talking about this glitter really quick um, I feel like this purplish glitter was super pretty I think it was one of the prettiest ones um, I don't know what it was about it but it had like this beautiful golden yellow sheen to it and it just looked super nice in the sun after and it looked really good on that purple as well and the pink as well the pink glitter was super pretty as well it was like a, like a nice neon pink yeah really really like that as well Okay, so once each nail has cured for 60 seconds, I'm going in with my 100 grit file um, just to crispen up the side walls. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just basically gonna straighten them up. I try to apply it as neat as I could. I already filed, like buffed the surface. I didn't really wanna include that in there. It was kind of difficult to film on camera, but I basically just filed slash buffed the surface. And now I'm just showing you how I would crispen up my shape, although I find that it was already okay, but I'm just showing you guys how I would really get that sharp. So I'm just going on these side walls and sharpening that up. Make sure that you hold your file super straight and not more angled at the top or at the bottom because then you can really start to change your shape and make the bottom more narrow. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Just try to keep it as straight as possible and put a fair amount of pressure, not too much because you don't want to start filing away your poly gel. You just want to basically shave down the edges, I guess. So yeah, just bear that in mind and also give the free edge a quick file as well and that will really help to give you that super crisp sharp edge as well. Okay, and now just going in with my nail art. So I'm not the best at doing free-handed nail art. So I do give it my best shot and I do enjoy doing it. And here is what I'm doing. So I'm doing a bat, of course, for the month of Halloween. I like to assume it's the month of Halloween because, yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of like Halloween vibes throughout the whole month of October that might just be me and I'm basically creating a little bat I did get a little bit of inspo of Instagram um, but I couldn't quite find a bat that I kind of like so I kind of used some inspo but made up my own um, yeah so here I am just trying my best kind of creating the bottom of the body and the wings this wasn't too bad in the end I did have to do some correction after I colored it all in but in the end, hopefully it looked like a little bat. Let me know it in the comments. Um, this one actually failed, but I wanted to keep it in there because I wanted to show you guys that even though I've been doing nails for a while, I'm not that great still. So um, yeah, this kind of failed. Basically, this pretty much failed in my opinion and I basically redid it, um, which was still a fail, but it looked better than the first time. So uh, yeah, it's basically like a little... I don't know what this is, but it's one of those things. <laughs> um, I just saw it off Instagram and I wanted to give it a shot. You probably don't know what this even is because it looks so bad, but yeah, it's one of those things. If you know, you know, if you don't, then I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, so moving on to my favorite nail. 
this is going to be a spider web and I'm basically using the Madame Glam black gel paint for this. I really love this gel paint. It's super good and flexible to work with. I'm also using the um, ultra fine liner brush. Yes, I'm using the ultra fine liner brush and you can use discount code CAMIN30 for 30% 30 off Madame Glam. And I have also done a review on this whole gel paints kit from Madame Glam and the brushes, which are amazing. I cannot express how much I love these. They are so, so good. So here I thought I would do a cute spider as well. I was really thinking about like going over this black with some like black glitter, but I just didn't do it in the end. I just thought... I wanted to keep the focus on mostly the po poly gel um so yeah i just kind of left it and it was it took me a while to do this whole set anyway so by the end of it i was kind of like oh you know what i'm just too tight right now so here i am trying to do a spider it kind of looks like an ant but yeah there's a spider web so i'm sure it looks like a spider and here i am sorry i'm out of focus i'm not sure what happened to my camera there but that was the spider and on this nail, I'm doing one of those really aesthetically pleasing looking snakes that I've been seeing all over my Instagram for Halloween. So here I am just doing the body of the snake and the little head. There we go. And this was fairly simple. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines and I colored that right in. There you go. And I did also add some stars as well. I thought the stars were a nice little touch. to finish off the set just doing a spooky looking tree and a couple of birds and that was pretty much for the design but yeah I loved everything about this poly gel brand from the packaging to the poly gel to the small details that they've just put in with like the whole pink theme I really really like that even their top coat which by the way is really really good it has like this really nice thick consistency and i found that with thicker consistency top coats they last longer and they stay shinier longer so i really appreciate that they've put the time in to think about how to make their top coat formula i really really like that as well so yes um i'm definitely trying to save this top coat more it is so good and i love it and i use it on my own nails as well when i want to kind of make a design last longer i feel like it really does help with that um but yeah this is me just top coating everything i really really like how this set turned out i thought the poly gel shades were super cute i really appreciate them sending this to me so thank you to be glam for sending this to me and don't forget you can use my discount code nails by camin to save yourself 15 percent off at check out and yes this is an affiliate link so i do make a small commission so um thank you very much to everyone and anyone who uses this um it really means a lot and here i am just finishing off that last nail let me know what you guys think of this set down below i really did try with the nail art so yeah this is the finished look i really like these nails really really cute for halloween again there's my discount code and i just want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching liking and subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys